Hey guys, my hair, and today I am filming a K-pop haul. It is kind of later in the day. It's golden hour right now, so I apologize for the lighting, but I was about to film some unboxings, and I remembered when I filmed my last haul, a lot of you were like, please do more hauls of when you get multiple packages in the mail. So both of these have been sitting, um, actually this one just came yesterday, but both this one has been sitting around for a little bit. I just haven't gotten a chance to open it. So I figured I would just open both of these on camera for you guys and show you what I got. So we'll talk about this crushed one in a second. Let's go through this one first. Also, if you hear children screaming in the background, it's because my neighbors are in their pool and I'm filming this on the opposite side of my house. This isn't my normal filming area. So the first album that I bought was Cards Ride on the Wind. This is their third mini album and with all things that I get from them, I got some freebie cards. I'm not going to open this one like and show you the photo cards and stuff on camera because I am doing an unboxing. I really really like the back of this album. Look how cute it is. And yes, there's six songs including the instrument or the intro and the instrumental. And I haven't heard Knocking on Heaven's Door. I've heard like a tiny clip of it, um, Moonlight or DeMello. I haven't heard any of those songs. So I'm really excited to listen to those. I'm gonna take the plastic off it, but I'm just not gonna like do anything else. And I don't have to take the plastic off later. Now I have a tiny like complaint about this one. As you can see, it's kind of um, squished. Like, I'm gonna try to show you this without giving my address away, but is there anything on this side? Yeah, so it's like, trust me, it looks really squished. <laughs> this like corner is really indented and it just makes me really sad. So this is from Ketchup City and I overall had a pretty awful experience with them this time compared to every other time I've bought from them. Um, they recently changed their shipping methods, so which is fine because like it happens. I bought a package from them, obviously, it's here, and I bought it with the UPS shipping, I believe, or the EMS shipping. I think it might have been EMS actually, and I never received a like an accurate or a legit tracking number. They gave me a tracking number that like like was nothing so um, I never knew when this was coming the only reason I knew is because when I get a package my mailbox emails me but yeah I never knew when this was coming and when it did finally come which was later than I was expecting it to which could be US post it could be whatever um, yeah it took a really long time to come in and now it's squished so hopefully everything in here is okay I'm gonna go ahead and open this box um, I'm sure it is because they use lots of bubble wrap and if they have stopped using lots of bubble wrap then yeah I haven't been buying a lot from them lately. I don't know. I'm really liking K-Pop Market 01, so that's what I keep using. I'm very excited for these albums though because I have some, at least for one of them, like a very interesting unboxing planned for it. Actually, if one of these is what I think it is, I'm not filming an unboxing for it. So I can open that one here. I probably won't film an unboxing for this either. So I got G Friends, Summer Album, Sunny Summer. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to have this. I bought this version and when I was at the K-pop store, I just filmed my K-pop store haul, I was really tempted to buy the other version but I couldn't remember what version I had ordered um, because I thought they were both cute. So I was really tempted, I was really tempted to get both because I love this single that much and I probably, let me open the other, like, like let me open this and then I'll decide what I'm going to open here and what I'm going to do unboxings for. This is UNB's second mini album, Blackheart. I only bought one version um, because I don't quite love this release as much as their first one. So I was just going to buy one version and then see what happens with the rest of their discography because if their discography ends up being really small. I may just get the second version for um, collector's purposes, but for right now I'm happy with just having this version. And of course I bought Triple H's Retro Futurism, which is something I was like really excited to get in the mail and that's like partially why I bought it with EMS, um, because I didn't end up pre-ordering it. So I'm definitely going to do an unboxing for this one because I want to talk about the 
dating that's going on <laughs> in here and I wanted to make a chat video about it and I was like oh what if I just do my like because I'm not going to be the first person to unbox this like not even close so what if I just do an unboxing where I chat about that while I'm unboxing this album so and I'm going to do an unboxing of Ride on the Wind so let me open these two and show you what's in there this is the back of the other one I'm so excited for this though even though there's only three songs in instrumental, I don't care. <laughs> Even though I said in my top video this month that I like wasn't loving this as much as 365 Fresh, but I still love it a lot. So let me open UNB's Blackheart. I feel like that's the one you guys are least interested in, which you shouldn't be. You should be standing them. This comeback threw me off because it was really, it was really quick. Um, there wasn't a lot of time between this release and their first release and also there was like random people here who are only oh I got day one's photo card that's not day one that's day one <laughs> that's oh my gosh that's exciting that is that's really exciting and I also got is this Chan yeah Chan's photo card I love his hair this comeback honestly so yay that's exciting but china's up for trade for day one's other photo card because i assume there's another one somewhere let's just flip through this oh my goodness there were people in this who are like just in this for this comeback who are like random like random people and i don't understand and i don't really enjoy that um also i have to be in a very specific mood to enjoy it oh gosh look at day one so handsome um to enjoy this song so it wasn't like their first album which was like i could be in literally any mood and enjoy this song so that was kind of a bummer as well but yes there's a lot of instrumentals on this as well so yeah i still love them and i'm still going to buy their albums and yeah, but I was just a little like bummed with how random this comeback was for multiple reasons. So yeah, but I'm super happy to have it. Super happy to pull Day One's card. And like I said, there were two versions. I'm just gonna wait and see. Maybe if this song grows on me, then I'll be like, oh, I should get the other version. But yeah. So this is G Friends special single. I believe this is the Sunny version. But or the summer version. Remember. Maybe it'll tell us somewhere, but I'm so happy with this packaging. I'm just so happy with this album in general. It's probably this and their release from earlier this year just are so, so good. So good. So yes, let's look through this photo book. Oh, it's a very dark photo book. Again, haven't, oh, there we go. It gets a little better. MG looks so cute. Shouldn't be Yuju rocking that red hair though. <gasps> we got a Yuju photo card and it looks like I got someone's photo card. So yay, my collection says, my collection rules for this. Is that gonna focus? There we go. So there's someone's um, and here's Yuju's. My collection rules photo card wise for Yuju because I do collect her photo cards is at least one her release so I'm very very happy about that but if you would like to trade for another UG photo card this one has a red back this one has the blue back do let me know and we could do that so yeah I'm excited um there's five songs on this album and I can't wait to listen to it yeah I was kind of looking for a good girl group summer album and I feel like between all of these, well, this isn't really summery, but you know, um, Blackheart wasn't really summery either, but I don't know. That's funny that I pulled one photo card of my bias and one photo card that's not my bias, but I feel like Ride on the Wind was a really, really good summer album as well, and Red Velvet's is gonna be super good. I'm loving the previews for it. Oh my gosh, it sounds amazing. But yeah, I'm really happy that G Friend gave us a summer album because we really needed one so yeah that's it for this video these are all the albums that i bought um let me know if you like me doing videos like this 
last time I did one, you guys said yes, but this has less albums in it than, than the past one, but it's just, you know, sorry if the lighting is literally awful. I'll try to edit it a bit in editing, but yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you guys very, very soon. Bye!